Today, we are discussing all things Blunderbuss, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for the average gamer by an average gamer. And today, we are back in the Savin's World testing grounds to take a look at all things Blunderbuss. Right here in 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. Now you will have noticed by now that the loot progression has changed quite a bit in Alpha 19. Now, early game, you will no longer be able to find yourselves that Tier 4 AK on Day 1. You're going to be stuck with the basic, basic starter weapons like the Blunderbuss. So it is very important to familiarize yourself with this weapon. So we went ahead and jumped into the Savin's World testing ground so we can take a closer look at the Blunderbuss. Since it is going to be your go-to weapon early game for a lot of people, it's practically the only firearm that you have access to for quite a while in the beginning of the game. I figured I better get in here and take an in-depth look at the Blunderbuss. So let's head on inside, let's grab everything we need, and let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have everything we need. I've got the uh, the Blunderbuss level one through six, and we are going to dive right in. We're going to start off by talking about the skills, perks, and books that govern the, the Blunderbuss, because yes, there are skills, perks, and books that will govern this weapon and make it even better. So let's jump right into that right now. Technically speaking, the Blunderbuss is a shotgun weapon which means that it will be governed by the Boomstick perk. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Boomstick perk that is in the Strength Tree. The first level of Boomstick can be unlocked right away at level 1, and that is Shotgun Hobo. Maybe your aim isn't so good, or you just like doing a lot of damage up close and personal. Either way, a Hobo with a shotgun is not to be messed with. Craft quality two poor shotguns, deal 10% more damage, 10% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload. Stun enemies for 6 seconds. Increases chance to dismember by 5%. Unlocks the double barrel shotgun crafting. Level 2 is Shotgun Nomad that can be unlocked at, sh at strength level 3. Roaming the wastelands as a nomad have improved your abilities with shotguns. Craft quality 3 fair shotguns, deal 20% more damage, 20% faster fire rate, and 15% faster reload. Increases chance to dismember by 10%. Next up, Shotgun Pro Strength Level 5. If shotgun meets were still a thing, you'd be hitting those clay ducks and be considered a shotgun pro. Craft quality 4 good shotguns, deal 30% more damage, 30% faster fire rate, and 20% faster reload speed. Stun enemies for 8 seconds. Tier 4 is unlocked at strength level 7. That is Shotgun Master. You are now very deadly with a shotgun and considered a shotgun master and master of the shotgun. Craft quality 5 shotguns deal 40% more damage, 40% faster fire rate, and 25% faster reload. And last but not least, level 5, which can be unlocked at strength level 10, is Boomstick. You've ascended to the legendary status of Shotgun Messiah, as you are the last thing they see before meeting their maker. Deal 50% more damage, 50% faster fire rate, and a 30% faster reload. Leg shots cripple opponents. Awesome, awesome stuff. So you get this bad boy up to level 5, and you're going to be doing some pretty darn good damage. Now let's take, at the, take a look at the attribute strength that actually governs this. And like all of the other attributes, it gives you a boost to headshot damage, and it also gives you five or a, a greater chance to dismember. Every level you go up will give you an extra 10% headshot damage and an extra 5% chance to dismember. And like all of the other perks or all the other attributes, the first five levels here cost one point, then six, seven, and eight cost two points, nine and 10 cost three. So there you have it. That is the 
uh, attribute strength and the perk boomstick that governs this weapon. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the book series that governs the blunderbuss. And that is Shotgun Messiah. Pretty sweet. All right, Shotgun Messiah is your one-stop shop to buy and learn all about shotguns. Learn how to shoot, maintain, and craft your ammunition. So Volume 1 says, Damage. Learn just where to hit your targets to maximize damage. Shotguns do 10% more damage. All right, Volume 2 is Crafting the Breaching Rounds. Now, unfortunately, those do not work with the Blunderbuss. But uh, it, you still want to be on lookout. You want to complete this series because the bonus one is pretty sweet. All right, next up is Volume 3, Limb Shot, Going Out on a Limb. Literally, targets within 3 meters have a high dismember chance. Pretty sweet. Next up, Volume 4, another one that unfortunately does not apply to the Blunderbuss. You can craft shotgun slugs. This is for the other shotguns. Volume 5 does apply to the blund Blunderbuss, however, and this is Maintenance. Learn how to clean and maintain your shotgun. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Next up is the shotgun magazine mod, which again is not a uh, not a mod that you can use in the, in the blunderbuss. This uh, lets you craft shotgun magazine tube mods. So that one's not going to help you out. But again, you want to get all of them so you can complete the series. And then number seven, party starter. You like to start the party with a bang. Targets with full health take 20% more damage. That's an awesome book to find. And if you find all of the books, you get the bonus, which is one shot. Stuck in close quarters and need to make a quick getaway? Blow a hole in the wall with this handy trick. You can one shot most drywall and wooden walls. Bulk craft all shotgun ammo. That includes the blunderbuss ammo. Next up, let's take a look at exactly what you need to craft the Blunderbuss. So we will open up this bad boy, go to our crafter menu here. Blunderbuss. Now the Blunderbuss, since it is a starter weapon, you can actually craft this bad boy on day one. You don't have to find a schematic or anything like that. You do, however, need to find short iron pipes, glue, and wood. Now again, the, the shotgun, the boomstick perk, as you level up that perk, you will open up new craftable levels for the Blunderbuss, all the way up to level 5. So even though it doesn't say in the perk that you can craft a higher quality Blunderbuss specifically, since the Blunderbuss is technically a shotgun, you can craft higher tier Blunderbusses as you uh, increase your boomstick level. And it's very, very cheap to, uh, to craft. A few short iron pipes, glue, and wood. You can find wood and, and short iron pipes everywhere, and they are making glue uh, more easily easy to loot. So I guess they're increasing the loot uh, quantity for glue because you're going to need glue to make duct tape, and duct tape is in everything. So they're trying to make it a little easier for you to find glue in the world, which is nice. All right, next up, let's take a look at the ammo. To craft blunderbuss ammo, you need small stone, gunpowder, and paper. So small stones, gunpowder, and paper. There it is. And then the bulk ammo, you have to, again, to unlock that, you need to complete the Shotgun Messiah books. But once you have, you can craft a full stack of 100 blunderbuss ammo for 80, 160, and 80 paper. So again, you get that 20% crafting savings, so the discount when you bulk craft the blunderbuss ammo. So again, you need to complete the Shotgun Messiah book series in order to bulk craft the blunderbuss ammo, and it'll cost you 80 stones, 160 gunpowder, and 80 paper. So again, you get that 20% discount by bulk crafting the blunderbuss. It's always best to bulk craft if you can. That's the definitely the way to go about it. All right, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats on the blunderbuss. So we'll start off with the level one. Again, it is a shotgun weapon, so it has damage per pellet and the amount of pellets. So the damage per pellet on a tier one is 12, and it has 10 pellets, meaning that you can do a total of 120 damage with one shot. And that's all you get is one shot. You, there's no way to increase the number of shots you get with the blunderbuss. It's one shot, then you got to reload every single time. It's pretty slow to reload as well, so be very careful has an effective range of five, so it's very close quarters. 
and max durability of 50. So it'll degrade pretty quick. Next up, level two. So most of these, um, most of these stats are going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to change is the max durability and the uh, damage. So when we get all the way up here to level six, we're doing 18 damage per pellet, same number of pellets, and max durability doubles to 100. So that's the only only difference. The only thing that really changes with the blunderbuss is the damage per pellet and the durability. So at the tier six level, you're doing a maximum of 180 damage, which is a uh, it, it's not bad. You can one you can one shot a lot of the, the uh, especially the lower tier zombies. You can one shot them pretty darn easily. And again, the effective range is five, so you need to be up close and personal with those zombie jerks. Now we're going to take a look at the mods available for the blunderbuss. So we're going to stick with our tier six here. We're going to modify this bad boy. And I've got all the mods that you can put, throw into this bad boy over here. We're going to start with the grips and the stocks. So we've got the four grip mod that improves the handling and accuracy when firing weapons from the hip or while moving. Next up, retracting stock improves weapon handling while moving or firing from the hip. So these two in conjunction increase your handling, your uh, accuracy and the handling quite a bit. So those are, are two really good ones to throw on there uh, together. Makes it makes it a lot easier, and I'll demonstrate that here in just a second. Now we're going to go to the um, barrel modifications here. So we've got the shot off, or excuse me, the sawed off shotgun mod that increases projectile spread. So that makes the spread wider. And the blunderbuss already has a pretty wide spread, so I don't know why you'd want to widen that. Uh, then next up, we have the shotgun choke mod. This tightens the spread, which is pretty sweet. And last but not least, the shotgun duck bill mod that uh, modifies it to a horizontal spread. So it's a uh, doesn't it's not very high the spread, but it's very wide. We've got the hunter mod that increases the damage to living beings. So if you want to take your blunderbuss out hunting, go for it. Cripple mod, 20% chance to cripple a leg, which is uh, not, not too bad. Good way to slow down the zombie jerks. Rad remover, which is uh, really only useful late game. And honestly, folks, if you're using the blunderbuss late game, you got a problem. <laughs> uh, weapon flashlight mod, obviously that puts a light on your on your blunderbuss. And last one is the laser sight mod that helps with aiming quickly, increases accuracy when firing from the hip. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of mods that you can throw on here that increase the accuracy uh, when firing from the hip, which is pretty cool. Um, let me show you here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get my blunderbuss equipped. Now, do you see the crosshairs there? You see how wide they are? I'm going to show you what happens after we modify the blunderbuss. So let's modify it. Let's throw the foregrip, the stock in there. Let's throw the choke in and we'll throw the cripple them in there. That increases the damage to 22. But take a look at our crosshairs now. You see how much smaller they are? Now, if I zoom in, it, it, it the crosshairs get bigger because this is uh, increases the accuracy when hip firing. So look how much smaller that is. All right, take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and modify and take those mods back out, and we'll take another look at how big those crosshairs are. You'll notice a big difference. Look at that. Look at the difference. So throwing those mods on there really does help quite a lot. So let's go ahead and get those back on there. Look at that difference. Pretty sweet. So there you have it, folks. That is all of the perks, skills, attributes, books, how to craft, how to craft the ammo, and the mods that are associated with the blunderbuss. I do believe it is time to head out to the rifle range and slay us some zombie jerks. I will meet you folks out there. Ah, oh, look at the lovely rifle range. I love it. Get to slay ourselves a bunch of zombie jerks. So let's go ahead and see this bad boy in action. We're going to start off with a level one character with no perks. In fact, I am going to remove my cigar because that gives me an extra point into strength. So that way we are back down to level one strength. So everything is level one. Haven't read any of the books yet. Let's get some zombie jerks in here. Now, remember, this has an effective range of five. So we can't even go back to our 10 mark because we will miss. <laughs> so this is unmodded, level one. Let's try to get cl up close and personal and so we'll see if we can one-shot her here. Boom, there she goes. 
Now look at this reload speed. Really, really slow. So you need to be careful. Give yourself a plenty of room. Ah, see, we did not, we're not able to one-shot her. There, we got her. So now you can see the limitations of this weapon. If you have a whole bunch of zombie jerks swarming you, since it takes so long to reload and you only have one shot, ooh, baby, you got to be careful. You definitely got to be careful. All right, let's clean up our mess here. Now I'm going to go ahead and read the books, spec in uh, to the perks, and we'll see what this bad boy can do at the peak of its usefulness. So give me one second, and I will be right back. We'll get it all modded up, get my skills and perks and books and everything ready to roll, and then we'll see with this bad boy in action as, as good as it can possibly get. All right, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So we are level 10 strength. We are boomstick level 5. And we are Shotgun Messiah Masters. All the books have been read. So we can bolt craft. We can one shot. We get 20% extra damage. 20% slower degradation. 10% extra damage. All the good stuff that comes with the books. And I uh, got a nice tight uh, spread here. We're going to go ahead and bring in three more. Actually, I'm going to bring in a whole group of them. We're going to see how long it takes us to get through this whole group of our lanes here. There we go. Now let's see if uh, all of those perks and skills and books, how, how much it increased the reload and firing speed of this weapon. Let's get to it. Ooh, still slow. But I like the ability that now I can take out more than one at a time, which is cool. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All 25 have been dealt with. Now, you will notice that the reload speed was, was a little bit faster, but it is still pretty darn slow. The effectiveness of the blunderbuss early game, it might be okay to use, uh, but as you get later and later in the game, you're going to have to retire the blunderbuss eventually. It's just too slow, and it hold, only holds the one shot. Not going to be a very effective weapon for very long. So as your game stage increases, trying to use the blunderbuss to take on a whole bunch of zombie jerks is a good way to get yourself dead. So be careful with the blunderbuss. But there you have it, folks. That's all things blunderbuss. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this weapon and if there was anything that I missed that you really want me to cover. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in... Savin's World. If you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.